Awesome. So as you know, we're partnering with the Calgary Local Immigration Partnership to tell stories about newcomers to our city um, because people from all over the world make their homes in Calgary. So my first question for you is, how long have you been in Calgary and what brought you to the city? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for this great opportunity. I'm glad to be here sharing my story just to inspire other people about the importance of bringing, accepting people from all, uh, all over the world. Uh, I have been here for six years and a half. Uh, what brought me here, war in Syria. I'm from Syria. Uh, you may know that um, the war started there 2011. We spent there five years then before like deciding to go to Lebanon as registered at the United Nations and to asking for a chance to come like escaped from Syria to uh, any safe uh, country. And then we got this chance to come to to Canada and to relocate here. So we're calling our series Newcomers. So do you still consider yourself a newcomer to our city even though it's been six years? I don't think so. Um, I feel this is home. Uh, I have my citizenship. Uh, like three years ago, I got my citizenship. I feel like um, myself as Canadian, uh, Syrian, uh, you know, when you have those two roots in different countries, you feel you you are like united those different roots in very unique way. <laughs> so I think no, I'm I'm still learning. You you know, like adapting or integration is ongoing process. I'm still learning, but uh, I think no, I'm now more like settled than a new new arrival. So what has been your greatest challenge in coming here? Weather and language. <laughs> I still remember when we like get, get, got out of the plane. Uh, we arrived 10 days before Christmas. It was minus 30, uh, uh, December 15. And it was like really, oh my God, very cold. I like, I looked to my husband, I told him, can we go back to Syria? <laughs> And we came with like what we considered a winter jacket, but it seems that uh, those are like spring jackets or like uh, cold uh, nights during summer. But it's these are not winter jackets at all. At all. So yeah, my first challenges uh, challenge was um, weather besides English because we came with zero English. So we have to restart so, everything. Um, so what was the most difficult part about leaving your home behind? Everything, everything, everything. Because this is uh, the difference between people who choose to come to Canada and between people who forced to come to Canada. We are lucky, Thank thanks for Canada to accepting us, but still like, when life, your life and your uh, family's life get like threatened and uh, became at risk, high risk. So you have to choose to leave regardless of uh, the memories you have in this place, regardless of everything you have achieved. Because it's like, you know, it's not only you, it's about your family, your uh, loved ones. So. Everything, uh, but for me, the most uh, emotional things when we informed by the Canadian ambassador that we have the ability to carry only three bags with 20 kilo for each. And then we had to set and decide what we have, what can we take and what we have to leave behind us. That was the, the most difficult thing we faced before coming to Canada. So what has surprised you the most about Calgary? The weather again. 
All right, moving on. So what has brought you the greatest joy in your life in Calgary? The kindness of people here. The people here are very kind, very polite, very supportive, very helpful. So yeah, I think, uh, and of course, the, the future of my son. He is in very good school. Uh, he is like... Uh, he is seeking for his hobbies, you know, as he loves soccer. So, yeah, everything in our new life after settlement process, yeah, get like very good. So what advice would you give yourself on your first week here if you could go back? If I could back to, to, to that, uh, like the first week? Uh, you know, we are high educated people. Like I am broadcast engineer. My son was a lawyer, but when we came here, we faced the reality that it takes time and efforts to go back to your, to your uh, professional career. So at, from the very first week, we noted that we can't like live in the past and we have to move on. And so what have been some surprises about your life here? Uh, you know, like for the last five years before coming here to Canada, every single morning I wake up asking myself, do I have the energy to, to move on? You know, you are facing horrible situation during the war trying to escape to Lebanon to wrap up yourself uh, uh, save your family save my my son's life and when we came here we noted that we are capable really we are resilience we are flexible um, we are strong really we are strong okay well those are all the questions that I have for you Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. It was actually really eye-opening to see your struggles and see how you've come so far. So thank you. Yeah, of course. And I want just to mention, Tempsey, it's something. Uh, for people who say that uh, still struggling, that uh, it's a two-way uh, direction of uh integration so we have our own part to do we have our like our roles like to practice in uh, beside the 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 roles of the host country so we cannot just integration is two ways so we can't just like sitting there and, like expecting other people to come toward us and give us all the tools we have to do our parts so the most you engage in the community, the most successful you will get soon, sooner. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Of course. I hope you, I hope you have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much.